All right, we're back in it. This is game two of match three. I made a mistake and I had the Super League on and another window, so that sucks. Thank you very much for letting me know that. I had too much stuff open. We want that. <coughs> wow, this is just like a runaway. I don't really want to crack this until I have to. Actually, I should have played Pyromancer and Traverse because I'm doing that no matter what. I just want to play slow here. Yeah, this deck is sweet. Yeah, see, I missed Sequence here. I haven't played this deck very much, but I should have done this before combat to pump this a point. I don't really want to fetch. I think I'm just going to get another Bedlam Reveler because like, we're so far ahead that if this if shit hits the fan, we're going to want a Reveler over a Death Shadow. And I have the ammo to kill my opponent next turn anyways. We just have so much left over. Holy shit. This deck is sweet. That's what I've been noticing. Just with with all of these decks that I've been playing, if I play Traverse the Ugenwald, I'm just going over. I'm just going like way over the top of all of this. Push that. Okay. Like I'm just doing exactly what all these decks are doing. But I do it at a, like, I just have more copies of Bloodbraid Alpha, more copies of Bedlam Reveler. Okay, we're just gonna smoke this. Where's our, do we mill over our white source? We're gonna not even decide it in. That's all right, we're gonna, we're gonna discard it. All right, didn't need it. Oh, this is so sweet. I just threw this together too, I didn't really have a, I had somebody message me. They they subscribed on my uh, they subscribed to my YouTube page, and they just uh, they subbed to my YouTube page, and they just got this. Like this, they said, "Hey, make a Pyromancer Death Shadow deck." And I was like, "Okay." Bob the dog. So we're playing against Gabe and Steve. Um. Yeah, I want to keep my hand. My hand's pretty good. I bet he's playing Hollow One. That's what he dominated with at the last Super League. So he's going to get Overgrown Tomb. Nope, Flight of Strand. So we got a Control deck coming. So we have to figure out how to not get got by a Supreme Verdict. All right, we're going pedal the metal now. What do they do with this? They okay, so they don't have any idea what's going on. Yeah, so we're just gonna try to kill him quickly. Like next turn, we're gonna play Pyromancer. On our turn three, we're just gonna go Mana Morphos, Mana Morphos. Just put as much power on the board as we can. What is this? A bant? This is probably like this the Guillaume Wafatafa's deck. This is Steve. Did you draw Steve? No, he's just fetching. Here comes the same visions. Okay. Top. I'm assuming this is. He's, he's, he's only topping action. He's bottoming lands. Top, top. Okay. Probably something like a Supreme Verdict. Green White Explorer, okay. So it's two land drops. I 
Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna make red black here. All right, let me check out what I have going on now. Because if my if I have a discard spell on top, I will looting into it. I have a bloodstained mire. That was dumb. We think. So now I wanna I wanna get the most looks at a discard spell. So I think I'm gonna hit this faith this evening. I'm not going to need this terminate. One, two, and probably can just ditch this bottle. This goes and gets stomping ground. And then I'm just going to cast another Manamorphose float green black and then hope to hit like a discard spell or a traverse. Alright, well we're gonna get in for two points. And then I should have ditched the Bedlam Reveler. That was so stupid on my Faithless Looting. Because I'm gonna lose one of the Bedlam Revelers anyways. What did we lose to? We lost to um We lost to a Ponza deck. Here comes a verdict. Wrath of God, okay. Well that's alright, we're gonna Bedlam Reveler. So we don't know any more cards in the deck. Jeez. That sucks so much. I feel like I have to cast the Bedlam Reveler because if my opponent lands a Jace and then starts brainstorming, like I need something on the battlefield. I can still fetch a red source. Okay, well at least this lets me know at least what's kinda going up here. Going on, so I'm gonna get a blood crypt. Path, Jace, okay. Well, at least Jace isn't very good against what we're doing here. Because he kind of has to bounce the Bedlam Reveler. Okay. So here comes like a Cryptic Commander, probably. So what do I want to do? Do I want to get a young Pyromancer and go wide and make him have a Snapcaster Mage to Wrath of God? Or is it better just to get another Death Shadow? One, two, three, draw a card. It's probably just better to go get a Death Shadow. So I can go get Death Shadow, play Death Shadow, and Flashback. I guess I can fly. I need to flashback Faithless Looting before I Manamorphose. Wow, there's so much going on with this deck. I could just save all of this for next turn also, which is what I think I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm just going to save save the Manamorphose and save the Faithless Lootings for next turn. Snapcaster Mage, Path to Exile, what are we pathing? We're pathing a Shadow. Okay, so now he's just going to bounce. So let me just go turn off Auto Yields. So now I'm going to just cast this, I think, to go fishing for a discard spell. I'm just 
traditional black, green, probably should attack better. Yeah, because I could have done that. That's frustrating. Okay, so now my opponent now gave, yeah, so I should have left myself red mana in order to potentially hit the thing to get a Jason to play, to get this into play. Yeah, this deck is like, Brainstorming. That probably means he hits a he had a path to exile. Storing wildwood. Okay, so now okay, so this means this thing's dead. Wildwood's gonna be kind of annoying, but at least we're gonna have a we have a bit of velocity. We're at Bedlam Revelers, which is bad. Like that's our best draw in this point. That's like the best thing that we could do. It's unfortunate that we drew all of those revelers together. This is another wrath. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chump block this. We have enough velocity where. I'm just gonna double chump. And hopefully he doesn't path me. They're in the sideboard. They're running with beers. So we're definitely okay, so that's a death shadow. So he's got one card. So let's cast this. I could just go get another Pyromancer. But I want to get, I probably just want to get Death Shadow. Just get the closing speed. And then just hope I don't get Wrath. And then next turn I can start flashing back like lootings. So we got two lootings in my graveyard, looks like. Time warp, okay. Takes another turn. I got one looting. Just one looting. So hopefully I get some velocity. The lingering soul after sideboard should be pretty good. Explore, so just can't so he's cantripping all over the place now. Leave open at least. Red a lot of red mana. God, I want all of these. So wait, two, four, two, nine. Yeah, we're just gonna thought season now. Ember cool the promised end. So this costs thirteen minus. Sorcery, Creature 2, Planeswalker 3, Instant 4, Land 5. So this costs 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. See, so yeah, let's take this Cryptic. Let's try to kill him before this Emrakul does me in. Okay, so one more land drop. No, it cost, no, 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 no! Oh, I miscount, no, he's still dead. No, he's not. Damn it, I miscounted. Shoot. That is so frustrating, I just completely miscounted. He only had five? 
tights. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I just miscounted his lands. I just like actually miscounted his lands. Oh, that's frustrating. This is the hard part about streaming after a long day at work. Is like you just do all this stupid stuff. <laughs> then he just he just eats my death shadow here. And then I don't think I have actually I don't have a draw to kill this. Cause I didn't play the dread boars. Oh, that's frustrating. I had that one won. Well, I didn't necessarily have it won because he had a cryptic command and he could have started chaining those. All right, so I want these. I want this. I don't want my removal. I want to keep in probably like Lightning Bolt because it hits Jace. I have eight cards I want to bring in. Man, sideboarding this deck is like super annoying. Reverse hits Jace. I want all of my removal. I want all of my creatures, I mean. I can cut two of these. I'm bringing in the Godless Shrine, but maybe I'll just cut like another. I'll just cut a fetch land. My worst fetch land is that. I don't want to go over the top too far. Then I guess I can just shave. Yeah. I mean, we're going to get to the point where their graveyards, like, we're gonna get to the point where we're okay here. That sucks that I miscounted on that Ember Cool. The struggle. Play. Keep. I think I'm going to go get. I'm trying to get Overgrown Tomb. Because I can traverse for the swamp, for, for the mountain if I need it. So let's go get Overgrown Tomb. Discard spell. I just have a hard time dealing with this card. Explore, explore, Elspeth. Okay, so we're just gonna take an explore. Hand is super clunky and pretty weak to a Liliana. Draw land. You draw a cantrip. Yeah, you draw a cantrip. Tilt. God, so lucky, Mister Nasif. I see why he's a Hall of Famer. So they went bottom top. All right, so let's traverse for our mountain. Okay, we want to get rid of this. And we probably want to get rid of a Traverse. But we don't want to get rid of both of them because that's going to be our next black land. Though it's going to suck if we have to Traverse for just a black land. So like, I'm probably just going to go get Flashback these Lingering Souls next turn. <coughs> as much as that pains me. So here comes a land. Yeah, because he kept a card on top. So one of those must have been a land. Discard this. Discard this because we can bring it back with command. OK, 
okay, so the Supreme Verdict is bad, the Sphinx's Revelation is bad, and the Elspeth are bad. I think I'm going to take the Rev, well, no, the El I'm just going to take... The problem is he's not under any pressure to do anything. There's just like no way that I'm going to win this game. This card's going to kill me, so I'm going to get this out of there. Things are bad all over. Yeah. And then we might get to a point where we can hit this Sphinx's Revelation with a Kologon's Command. Or maybe he just doesn't have a good answer to this Liliana. Like, maybe that's our game plan. Like, I know if I need to draw... If I draw a land here, I'm just going to jam this Liliana. Um, that actually... So let's go get our basic. We can take the Sphinx's Revelation now. Traverse. or Swamp. Now we take the Rev. And then next turn I get the Liliana going. So maybe, maybe we get a shot. Let's hope he didn't draw, just doesn't draw an answer to this. We're just getting this into play. We're just going up with it. This is this is how we're going to win the game. <coughs> All right, let's go get our Godless Shrine. Cast this Lingering Souls to be mana efficient. We got a chance. Just need to dodge like a cryptic command, basically. I would be willing to bet that's his only out to this card in his main deck. All right, he's just flooding out. What do you got, Gabe? If he paths one of these, then I'm going to draw step command him. Let's get a little aggressive. Tick up. We might, we might get out of this. Cause like we got it, we're fighting. We're fighting around two fronts now. And we kind of have a third front here with this K command. He's just got geez. Okay. If he pass one of these, we'll hit him in the draw step here. No cryptic. Wow. What does he have going on here? Okay, so we just got nothing. So he just drew like absolute garbage and we got in there. This game, at least. So he's got a path. That's his last card. Whew. Holy shnikes. <coughs> Thank you, Liliana, the last hope. I think we're just going to run it all back the same. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in tonight. 
We're gonna play some more tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm either gonna play this deck, no, right here. This is what we're either gonna play tomorrow. This this Jun Shadow deck that I'll probably play in the whatever it is, the modern challenge this weekend. Or we're gonna play some tribal zoo. Right here. I don't know yet. We'll have to see when we how I feel like in the morning. I know that I do am gonna want to stream at least a portion of the um, at least a portion of the day tomorrow with the Death Shadow deck. It sucks that I messed up my first video. I actually had something on in the background that was causing problems. Probably the video is probably going to be unusable, which is frustrating. I guess now is a good time to put our sponsors. Gamer Craze is a store that I am sponsored by in upstate New York. If you check them out, their Crystal Commerce is linked below. They buy at a competitive price because they foster a college environment. Um, Card Hoarder is the best bot chain in the business. You check them out for all your moto needs. You can always find all of my replays on YouTube. And if you interact with me on Twitter, that's the best way for me to talk magic and maybe play your deck. I took this deck here from a somebody that was talking to me on Twitter and I just kind of tossed all this together. So, so yeah. Oh, let me turn it back over here. That's kind of like what you can do to support me. Follows are always the best. You can subscribe, but I get that cost money. I should submit my deck here. Like, but I get that spends that cost money. You know, the best way to subscribe to support me that's like free is to go down to my YouTube ch channel and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Like that. That's the best way to really hook me up. Uh, Corey, Corey Isaac Five, if you're still in the chat, I appreciate that. Appreciate your follow. All right, we have another last hope, so maybe we can clear the way for her. <clears throat> we just go discard spell, discard spell, last hope, and hopefully that does it. Just take her all the way up. Maybe we can dagger the Pro Tour, the Hall of Famer. So how's the chat tonight doing? You guys having a good night tonight? Today or this day? Today's Wednesday. On this Wednesday evening. It's hump day. It is the middle of the week. I have tomorrow off, which is sweet. So this is probably gonna give me blood crypt. Though I might not want to expose a basic to field of ruin. Or a, a dual to field of field ruin because we have both of our basics. I think that's the plan there. We're pretty cold dating like half the exile. Jace the Mind Sculptor. That is a problem. He's a terminus. Steve Gabba Draw. I'm just gonna thought seize this. I'm just playing with such fire if he draws an untapped land and I don't thought he's his Jace. Jace is gonna kill me. This Jace. Play this land. This story wild one's gonna be able to pressure my Liliana. Which is annoying. We're gonna have to try to see if we can get this young Pyromancer down. Problem is this Wrath of God is also gonna mess with my um, my Pyromancer. So it's going to be difficult to just march Liliana all the way up this game. There's the Wildwood. I'd like to draw a piece of one mana interaction. That's not it. Okay, so after drawing this, 
I think I'm actually just going to jam the Liliana because I'm going to be able to go like on my next turn, Pyromancer, Manamorphose, Brutality, your Wrath of God, and then try to figure it out after that. Yeah, so if my if he, if he flashed in a Snapcaster here, I'm in a lot of trouble or has a counter spell, but I want to get this in under, we've seen Cryptic Command from him, so I would like to get it, get it in underneath that. If he spends his entire next turn trying to deal with this, then so be it. And he doesn't even kill it all the way. So he loses a lot of tempo if he just fires up and goes, which appears like what he's gonna do. That card is going to be tough to beat. So let's go. I actually don't even know how I beat this card with his hand being how it is. Okay, so let's make black red. That's not bad. We actually discard my lingering souls. Let's go, let's just nug him. I have to gain and drain him, which is kind of annoying. I guess I could've just done that next turn, so stupid. Take this wrath. Hope he misses on land drop. Because if he just goes land terminus, kill this, I'm gonna cry. I should have just like done one mode, then I could have faithless looting it away and flashed it back the next turn. So that wasn't good. Okay, we got a planeswalker party. <coughs> so we're gonna get into this Gideon as we now we know the Terminus is back on top of our opponent's library. So like, yeah, we're just like super dead. Cause he's gonna, he's gonna take, he's gonna put the Terminus back on top. He's gonna wipe our board. And then he's gonna replay. But I don't see how we win this game. Cause like we can't protect this Liliana like we, like we were hoping. All right, well, that at least deals with the Jace. Then I'm just going to rebuy my Death Shadow with this Liliana because it's going to die. Okay, well, we'll take this bed on our player. Tag Gideon. So now we're kind of in it. We're going to lose our board, lose our Planeswalker, but we have to play a Reveler. We could do something like Reveler, Flashback, Lingering Souls. Come to Terminus. Yeah, the Miracles, the Terminus. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That Reveler was such a great draw. Okay, so this kills this. He can't cryptic the Reveler at least. So that's good news. A Field of Ruin would be really bad. No, Jace, Jesus Christ. Okay, be reasonable. Be reasonable. I guess we've been drawing pretty well too. Did you do that top of my deck? Put a card on the bottom. That was not good. Um. I 
I guess I'm just gonna go get a blood crypt, play this young pyromancer. And then just hope he doesn't have a way to answer the board. Then when you get to go Lingering Souls, Flashback, Faithless Looting, ditch these two lands. Like we can put some we can put a dent into these planeswalkers. But if he rats the board, then we're dead. But we just gotta I just gotta hope he doesn't wrath the board and we get to do at least some serious damage. At least get one of these planeswalkers off the board. Path. Yeah, we're dead. I could keep playing this, but like, we are dead, you know? Alright, let's get in here for the last match of the night. Just checking out where my dog was. This deck's cool. This deck is very cool. Good. I don't know. I'm gonna keep this. Alright, um, Pluto Delta's a worse land than Bloodstained Mire, so I might as well start off with that. What is this? Okay. Blood Crypt. Witness. Go Fatal Push Thoughts is the other card. Gavin Township. Devoted Druid. Okay, so I'm definitely going to get Overgrown Tomb. Cycle this before we do anything. My light total doesn't really matter in this matchup. It's just more about trying to run them out of resources. So they're going to have a Dusk Watch Recruiter. The Scavenging Ooze is much scarier. So I have one, two, three. Okay, so there's the Recruiter, Canopy. So I know they have Planes and one of them. So I can actually go Abrupt Decay, this. Then I can either traverse for a Death Shadow or I can traverse for a Bedlam Nibbler. One, two, three. My opponent's probably, if we hit a company and we go get, I'm just so afraid of not having like any answers to anything. I need to shock myself to get another green mana. <coughs> I definitely have to kill this. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go stomping ground, abrupt to gate, traverse for a leveler. Though I could just Alright, I'm just gonna What could this card be? If it's a collected company or it's like an eternal witness, it's a disaster. If I go to three, it's not. Yeah, I'm just gonna check so I can do all that next turn. Okay, it's a recruiter. Save a planes. Devoted druid, alright. Yes. So now I just go be Death Shadow, because I can actually just make it like a turn like a two turn clock. for a death shadow two turns opponent you have two turns the next one is definitely a bedlam river though because we just want to find something to interact that's much clearer okay yes all right let's attack first
And do I want to fetch? Probably don't want to fetch unless I have to. I can fetch basic mount, so I can literally fetch anything left in my deck. Oh, that leaves us dead to Walking Ballista. That was a mistake. Now we're dead to Ballista. All right. Yeah, that was stupid. I should have waited, because I, I could have died to a Ballista doing that. So I want everything that kills a creature. <coughs> and I want some Battle Rages. K Command is probably a little slow, so I want seven cards. I'm going to cut all of my Inquisitions, because I like the... Like, all their creatures tend to be re pretty redundant. I like the brutality also kills something. Um, probably don't need my young pyromancers. Yeah, I think this is not a young pyromancer matchup. Because we're, like, going wide against a deck that has, like, just a bunch of ground pounders isn't that good. We'll just rely on traverses and bedlam revelers, I think, in order to pound through our opponent. I just want to be, like, card draw in the bedlam revelers, and I want to be like Death Shadows here to pound over the top and find my Battle Rages. Um, I'll, just, I'll take out, just shave a Street Wraith. I probably can actually keep the Street Wraith and cut a Mana Morphos because we don't have a, our whatever they are in play. And I'm going to cut one more Mana Morph. I'm going to cut a Street Wraith and bring the, the K Command to it. We're going to get rid of the um, get rid of the young Pyromancers. I think we can deal with a little bit more, a different game plan. Yeah, keep his hand. My opponent mulligans. Burlington Forge Tender, okay. Okay, so we have a two red sources. So this goes to get Overgrown Tomb, and then I cycle Street Rage and Thoughtseize. At least our faith is leading to him again. Alright, let's get rid of this collected company. This protection deal damage. So it just hit the it doesn't stop terminating. They drew that temple guard. I know their last two cards. It's worth taking that kitchen fence for sure. So I'm gonna just faithless looting away some of these lands. Thoughtseize, the kitchen finks. Next turn, I'm just gonna terminate something. Probably terminate this bird just to keep us like, keep my opponent's mana constrained. And then probably traverse for a bedlam revler. It should attack, okay. Well now let me see if they're drawing. They're drawing a land. I still think that oh, this bird can force it only the only thing that does this is lightning bolt. Oh it could it could kill my okay. So, so let me go fetch basic mountain. protection from... Wow, that card is actually way more of a problem than I thought it was going to be. So now I have to get a Death Shadow. I always forget how this card works. I could get a Reveler just to gas back up, but this thing just brick walls it. So is it better to do that? I think it's still probably better. Nah. Now we're just going to put pressure on our opponent. Just get a Death Shadow. We have a Faithless Looting. We can kind of like gas back up and we're drawing another card. Thoughtsies. Not good. So we know our opponent's got. There's the Virgin Catacombs. So it's still okay like with my decision to have. Oh, okay, so let's. Loot. Okay. So I'll just go ditch, ditch, play the shadow. Well, I, hang on. No, I'm not going to get screwed here. We're just going to 
Escalade with two modes. I'm going to ditch this. I don't want to get hit with a Path to Exile. They easily could have that. Or they could have drawn like a Collected Company. Even though this makes so I can't play the Shadow this turn. Is that worth it? Is it worth not playing the Death Shadow to play around like... Because I'm basically out of resources if I don't play this Death... If I don't... If I, this Death Shadow gets dealt with. I have two lootings, but like I'm getting low on cards because I'm going to do this afterwards. Yeah. Get this off the battlefield. I could just ignore this and go up top. Probably should have done that. Probably should have just ignored this Burlington Forge Tender and gone up top and then played my Death Shadow, which would have made my Faith of Spoons better. Okay, so then turn a witness, which is kind of annoying. Like, it's that company. Yeah. So now this game's going to get difficult. I get the company back. Can't cast that. <clears throat> Things are going to get hard now. So I gotta start looting into something. That's not exactly what we're looking for. Oh, dude, I just completely muffed all of this up. I should have kept my red source, just looked up at their hand. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go like this, past turn. Look to block whatever they do. Then next turn, fix our mana, play Bedlam Reveler. Hopefully find a piece of one mana interaction. No, so that's infinite blocks. Yeah, we, we, I think we've lost this game. I think we tossed this game. We're actually just, if my opponent attacks with everything. No, I just block here, then we go one. Then I've got enough blockers to stay in front of this, so I guess we're still in it. I'm going to attack with everything, and I find the battle rage were in wicked shape. Voice, okay. All right, so we're gonna go red black. So we're gonna float red black. Right. Terminate this, that gets rid of a combo piece. They put counters on. No, I need to I need to actually just get this bedlam reveler into play to not die. Well they, they can't put counters on yet. So I actually can just get rid of this. Yeah. And then we just get on defense. I probably can attack with like this kitchen finks. And it's it's a free attack because of how because of the the counters or the Gavney Township. Oh I lose my I can't bend the right one now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Man, we so messed up by like so I made a bunch of mistakes this game, but it was compounded by misevaluating that collective brutality. And that's the big problem. And then... Okay, so block here. They put a counter on, they put a counter on for... Yeah, we're just dead. Yeah, that was all my... I think we had the tools to win that game, and I just tossed it. So I think we're just going to keep it the same. A little frustrating. That is a little, a little frustrating. But I thought, I think if I could do that all over, I think we could, I think I could like get back into that. This deck is sweet. Really hard to play. Yeah, I keep this hand. So 
cycle into some interaction. Hopefully, if not, hopefully next turn we get to like, because we'd see a bunch of cards. All right, let's check out what's on the top here. Well, one piece of one mana interaction. Okay, that, that actually pairs well with our, um, excuse me, our, the Manamorphos next turn, because I can go like, Thought sees and Traverse, which is sweet. Yeah, this is going to be a... If I can find a way to do enough damage to myself. So this has to go get Overgrown Tomb. I guess I actually can get Stomping Ground, so I double red. So let's... We're going to go... We're going to go green, black... Probably should have just bolted this. But I can do that next turn. The Finx is annoying. Each one of these are annoying. So I'm gonna take this voice. And then I'm gonna traverse delirium. One, two, three, four, five. I can just get this reveler. And then just start trading one for one and then clean back up. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Then if we we can get this Death Shadow into play next turn, if we draw... <coughs> um, okay, so that that's like we got our cake and we can eat it too now. So we're just going to hit this now to make sure they don't... They're just a turn off accompanying me. And it also just is going to fuel up for our Reveler. I just want to empty my hand, use all my spells, and then get to a point where I can reveler an empty hand. So one, two, three, four. This is five. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I've almost got one card. So I could just bolt myself. can attack. If he blocks, I'll bolt myself. Pass with mana open. Look to terminate something. Okay, that's alright. So now we're going to pass here. I'm going to get this off the table because it's going to constrain his horizon canopies and um, make so that if he has a company, he needs to draw the land or company here in order to have it. And I think I'm just going to lightning bolt. I think I'm just going to hit this right now. I, just, I kind of just want to be empty-handed. This is, you know, not a super great use of my resources, but I want to be empty-handed when I have Bedlam Reveler. So now here comes the company. So I did sniff out, like, killing the bird last night, head, last time head value. Eternal Witness, Devoted Druid. Okay, so this goes back. That's so, that's frustrating. Then they, I pegged it, and then they still had it, which kind of sucks. So they got back the company. We still have a couple good hits. Like, we could hit a... Nah, I think we're still just going to go Reveler. Yeah, we can hit a Collective Brutality would be our best hit here. Alright, that's... That's not bad. as we can now get in. I'm going to kill this in my main phase. All right, this is fine. I will trade this. Trade my shadow. Oh, let me see what they're drawing. They're drawing land. So I'm just going to do this now because it's going to use all of their all their turn now, because if I let this untap, they can make mana off of this. Okay, so do a Street Wraith. That Street Wraith is probably getting hard casted, especially now that they played this. Just kidding. So let's looting. I 
discarding this straight right more than likely. Jeez. Okay, getting in. We'll take on, like if my opponent companies into a way to deal with this, then at least we're going to get through some damage here. And we are putting a hurting on. So we don't have anything else to flash back. My opponent does have to do like some chump blocking. So like, we can't die next turn because the, the devoted droid will be summoning sick. We're just slamming into our opponent here. Another vizier. Okay. That's going to cost you two life to cast that. You're probably just going to flip this. Nope, they concede. All right, let's go back to the deck here. Wrap it up a little bit. Death Shadow Pyromancer. Where is it? I really like this deck. I liked what it was doing. Um, it obviously needs a little bit of reforming. Probably needs some graveyard hate. We beat up on two fair decks, lost to another fair deck, and lost. We beat Mardu, Jund, and what else? We beat Mardu, we beat Jund, and we beat Collected Company, and we lost to. Uh, what do we lose to? We lost to like a Bant Control deck and and Ponza. So if I was going to play this deck again, I think that I would add some Graveyard Hate into the sideboard and a couple more grindy elements. Like maybe I would move a K Command in here, cutting like a Manamorphose, another K Command in the sideboard. But we, we outgrinded all of the control decks because of Traverse. So I don't know, maybe I'll just add some more unfair stuff to my sideboard. But anyways, if you guys want to catch the replay, you'll be able to find it on YouTube. Please, the best way you can support me is subscribe to me on my YouTube channel. It's free. It's linked below. I'd appreciate that very much. Thank you all and have a good rest of your night.